Okay, we're working on figuring out this live thing. Thanks for sticking with us. Uh, we're kind of having issues. We're not seeing questions come in, um, but it sounds like you're able to see him live. So if you could send your questions in a message, I can forward them onto him so that he can address them. Uh, and we will try going about it that way. So thanks for your patience. Um, starting out, we do have a couple questions to begin with from some of you who sent messages already, so thank you. And I want to thank you all for being part of our Sellerside family and for being able to connect with us. We're going to work through these difficulties. I'm really looking forward so much of being able to share new tech techniques and experiences and be able to help you in, in, in the things that you want to achieve and accomplish in your own personal, personal physical fitness and health. There's so much. Solar size is, is unlike any other typical exercise. And while Jenna's pulling up some of these questions, I want to share some thoughts with you. We're the only species in the world that has bought into the current methodology of exercise. We've been taught you have to tear down to build up, or you've got to do 20 minutes of aerobics as if your cells had watches, or that you've got a um, no pain, no gain mentality, or you've got to sweat in order to get good exercise. All of that are simply manipulations of the body. You'll never see a dog, cat, monkey, or any other species of animal out there tearing down to build up or doing some of the insane programs that you see on television. And yet they're very strong and they're very healthy. What makes cellular size so unique is that it is not weight lifting, it is weight bearing. It's a huge difference. When you're weight lifting, you limit the increase of weight only to the muscles that are doing the lifting. But when it's weight bearing, you have every single muscle with weight on it over 100 times a minute. That's every muscle, bone, connective tissue, ligament, tendon, skin, collagen, internal organs. Yeah, I've been solicizing over 25 years. I am going to be, but I'm going to be um, 61 in just over a month. And you know, I am running around like I was in my 20s and 30s. I have customers who have followed this journey with me. And they're, they've been at solicizing now for over 20 years. And they're in phenomenal shape. When your cells are stronger, healthier, and working more efficiently, your body parts and functions are going to be stronger, healthier, and working more efficiently. What's fun about cellulite, you let me know when you've got a question, but what's so fun about cellulite, and it really is fun, that babies do it the moment they stand up in the crib. Many of you have heard me talk about these stories before. But you wake up in the morning, and you get on a cellulite for three to five minutes. Every cell is weightless over 100 times a minute. And then every single cell has an increase of weight at the bottom of the balance over 100 times a minute. So the cells fortify their membrane. They become more resistant to the weight. Bones become denser to compensate for the increase of, of weight. So you have osteoblastic activity of bone. You've got lymphatic circulation going. You're back flushing out. You're increasing oxygen and blood flow through the capillaries back to your brain, back to the blood vessels of the eye, and all the extremities of the body through this movement up and down. That's, you know, when I was doing my business plan, they said, David, who's your target audience? And I thought about that for quite a while, and I said, people. They said, oh, no, 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 you can't be that broad. You got, you got to narrow it down. And I thought for a moment, I said, no, you need to broaden this out. And here's one of the reasons why. With most all of us, because of our diet, environment, conditions we get in, the blood cells get sticky. And when the blood cells get sticky, they don't circulate very well. We can see this in a microscope, especially when you wake up in the morning. Which means the capillaries are not circulating very well. And so they have a tendency, as we live in this environment, day after day, week after week, year after year is that those capillaries begin to shrink. And as they shrink, our body parts and functions become compromised. Hardening of the artery is the number one degenerative disease as well. And so as you move up and down on a solar cycle, it's so it's it's really, really neat to see this. 
three to five minutes with every cell, every blood cell, even this blood cell that goes through that. With every blood cell weightless and then having weight on it, the blood cells start to strengthen their membrane. They have a sodium potassium pump. They're positively and negatively charged, just like a battery. They generate energy, a field of energy that surrounds the cells, the blood cells. And then these blood cells become separated from each other, which means now they have access to oxygen and nutrients. They circulate better through the body. The movement up and down activates the lymphatic system, which creates an internal vacuum system of suction. I'll notice in the mornings when I first wake up, my eyes are a little puffy because you lay down at night and the fluid in your body tries to find its natural equilibrium and a lot more of it goes to your face and your head. Your lymphatic system is very sluggish and so circulation doesn't move very well and it pools in different areas of your body. When you get on a cellicizer in those three to five minutes, I'll notice all the preference around that specific because I'm activating a vacuum system of suction through the lymphatic system that pulls that circulation through all the tissue spaces of the body, in between the bones and the joints. It cleans out the internal environment. Do we have one? Yeah, we actually have oh. a couple. And I'm noticing, uh, if you can join the Facebook Live, looks like we've got uh, Victor here. It says, nice to see you, David. Oh, good story. Hey, buddy. It's good to see you. Oh, I can't see you, but it's good to hear from you. Victor, he's been, he has been, a, a, a pillar of support with me and the company, and and we've had our our, uh, our challenges, okay, but and, and most companies do, but he's been there, and that's all you mean the world to him. Um, I think you know that. I hope you do, and, and uh, I sure appreciate you very much and all the support you've been. Great to great to hear you. Oh, great to know you here. Okay, so yeah, if you can join, uh, then you should be able to ask your questions. But we do have a couple um, from. Aaron Farinelli, um, he says, one, how long after your morning cellar size do you have breakfast? It's a great question. Um, over time, cellar size is one of the only exercises that does help to strengthen the sphincter muscle too. So I don't really have a, a problem eating before or after, but for most people, it's, you can eat pretty much after you've cellar sized. You're not going to be as hungry because your body will have been utilizing and eating the glucose and the sugars and the bloodstream, and so it has a tendency to reduce appetite a little bit. But you've also created a lot more oxygen into the bloodstream, which is necessary for the body to be able to utilize nutrients, and it increases metabolic processes as well. So, uh, you know, with me personally, Sometimes I'll eat first, sometimes I eat after. It, um, I don't really have, it, it's never really made a difference in me. And so it, it, one thing though, with most people, wait 20 minutes. If you're gonna eat first, it's best for most people to, to wait about 20 minutes after you've eaten before you solar size. And, and the reason for that is when the food dumps into the, the stomach and all the acids in the, the stomach starts to churn and it starts to, you know, digest the food, these acids are, are dumping in, in, into the food. It's not as healthy to be bouncing up and down where the acid in the food is, is hitting up against that sphincter muscle, especially if you have a hernia. I, I don't recommend that. So about 20 minutes after you've eaten. Um, solar size, and other than that, you can solar size before you eat too. Perfect. He also asks, um, do you do the Jamba Run every day? <laughs> no, if I did the Jamba Run every day, I'd waste away. The Jamba Run is great. It, it for, <laughs> and many of you may have heard this story. When I first started teaching the Jamba Run, and I was traveling around the country doing this, um, that thing is so incredibly intense for losing weight and burning calories and women who've gotten rid of their cellulite and increased capillary growth. And I mean, the Jamba Run's incredible, no question. We all develop a love-hate relationship with it. But we love it because it works. <laughs> we hate it because it's, it's tough. I mean, it's great. It's, it harnesses the biggest muscles of the body, which have the greatest demand. And so they give us the fastest results. And you do repetitions of the Jamba Run, um, you're going to burn a lot of calories and weight. Well, when I was teaching it, as I was traveling to these health shows, 
I would get up, at, or I'd be standing in front of a booth, and people would walk by, and I'd say, oh, are you familiar with the Jamba Rat? Well, of course, nobody is. I'd invented it, but, but it was a good way to, to interact. And so they said, no. I said, well, it's a great way to lose weight. And when we got rid of the cellulite, as well as two and three weeks, doing as much as 20 minutes a night of repetitions. I, um, beautiful written testimonials from it. But I would demonstrate the Jamba Rat, and I'd only be on it for five to 10 seconds. Well, in those five to 10 seconds, with those big muscles needing a lot of energy, the metabolic processes, because of the big muscles, soars. And so I'd only be on for seconds, but I'd be on it all the time during the day for seconds, which meant my, my metabolism just soared. And unlike eating sugar, where you you know, you get this energy rush and your, your, your energy soars for a moment, it comes out and crashes again. Well, with cellulose, as you do the jamba run, your metabolic processes go up and then they slowly come down. Well, I kept getting on it all, over, all, all the time during the day. And so my metabolism was very high. Well, I dropped down to 3% body fat. That's insane. That's not healthy. I, I, was, I wasn't sleepy. I'd stay up all night. I'd eat two dinners. Um, I went to the doctors finally. He's our, our doctor right down the street here. And I said, I think something's wrong. I can't put on any weight. I'm losing weight. They did a full physical on me. And they said, Dave, you're in excellent shape. You've got the me metabolism of a 19-year-old. I said, that's just not normal. He said, that's just your body type. He said, it didn't used to be. Well, I backed off of the job around. It took about a month before my rear end came back. And um, now I only do it occasionally. And yes, I'll do it, um, especially if I feel like, you know, I need to, I've been eating, haven't been eating as well, and I, I want to get my metabolism up a little bit more. Then I'll do, I'll do some of the Jamba Run. Um, phenomenal. I, I, I've never experienced anything like it. And it, uh, you can start off with the Jamba Walk where you're just spreading the feet apart a little bit, bending the knees slightly, and walking in place, pushing down into the mat. And your feet don't really even come up off the mat, whether you're doing the jamba walk or the jamba run. You're flat-footed. You've got your back straight, and you're, you're you know, I demonstrated on the DVD. Um, your feet spread apart a little bit, you bend at the knee, puts all the weight on the thighs and the buttocks. And those are the biggest muscles, they have the greatest demand, so they get the fastest results. And yeah, that's a, it's a great technique, no question, great exercise. Okay, a couple more questions. Uh, a few from Edward Young. Um, Hello, Edward. First one is, uh, hi Dave, can you recommend the best way and duration to sell her size when pregnant? Oh, can yeah. you do all the exercises oh. on the DVD or are there some you shouldn't do? That's a great question. In a situation like that, it's almost a medical condition because you are pregnant. And so I suggest that you consult with your doctor or have your doctor give me a call. But one of the things that I do and I teach doctors is that if you've been active already, then you can sell size because you've already been active. If you haven't been active, then you want to approach the sell size just a little differently. But doing most of the techniques and most of the movements, I know that uh, my daughter's mom here, um, she was... She cellulosized all the way until the last two weeks of her pregnancy. And, and even at that point, she would help support herself. Or I'd lay her down on the cellulosizer and I'd do the technique that she lays down and I'd put her feet up on a chair and pull behind her head and I'd gently bounce up and down. I think obviously the baby benefits from the increase of circulation, the embryonic fluid and the oxygen and the nutrients are getting to the baby. Um, my daughter was brilliant and she's a, uh, She's a cellar size baby. In fact, that was a great way to burp her too, and I did <laughs> quite often. Um, great way to help her go to sleep and be able to go to sleep myself when uh, when, when, when she uh, needed to be uh, um, consoled at nighttime. But uh, the advantage of cellar size, and there's specific movements you can do that are better, and I demonstrate a lot of those on the, the DVD, and of course people can give me a call. But it is not unusual for women to have 15, 20, 30-minute deliveries. 
when they've been solicizing through their pregnancy. And I'd like to share one of the reasons why we believe that that's true, is the movement up and down opens up capillaries, maintains circulation and flexibility so the body responds more efficiently. I know when, when Jenna was born, um, her mom, Cindy, which she's on our, our first DVD, it's our old classic DVD, um, she, uh, she had like we got to the we got to the hospital. She had the baby. I mean, we really didn't need to go to the hospital. We probably would have had the baby just fine at home. <laughs> uh, she had maybe five ten minutes. The moment when they said start pushing and just boom, Jenna popped right out. Uh, my wife always kept her shape. Was always in, in good physical condition um, and looked great. So we've had we've had a lot of women who shared great testimonials as far as moving up and down. I wouldn't jump up and down real high. You don't need to. Uh, the gentle twisting, the rocking side to side, the, the, the jogging and, and the, the, the kicking out. And yeah, those generally, especially if you've already been active, those are going to be far better than going out and jogging or running on a hard surface or doing things where you have a ballistic impact. Solar size eliminates the ballistic impact up to seven eighths of it. So you're, you're not getting a jarring effect at all. Uh, and then right after pregnancy, this is wonderful, right, or right after you've had a child, you can actually sit down on the solarizer, tilt backwards a little bit, and bounce up and down. And as you tilt backwards and bounce up and down, it helps to promote contractions and to help flatten and tighten and tone the whole stomach wall again, which is, again, it's a secret. It's, it's a wonderful program for women who have, uh, who have had children. And, and even if you've had children years ago, it's still a great way to help strengthen the sphincter muscle, bladder, and to support all those muscles in the lower abdominals when you sit down on the solar size or tilt backwards a little bit and start to bounce up and down. And I show graduated movements of doing that on the DVD. Sure, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I just wanted to weigh in on that. Um, I actually just knows. had a baby um, almost three months ago. Uh, I was able to sell a slice throughout the whole thing. Uh, I did it gently, um, but to get not too personal, um, but I've had a lot of women ask me uh, about, you know, you do get stretched out, and, and sometimes when you jump, you pee a little, right? Um, but I have never had an issue with that, even jumping on it now. Um, throughout the whole pregnancy, I didn't, so really strong. Um, and then also... Um, when I went to my six week checkup, the doctors were very impressed at uh, how quickly my, my abs came back together. Um, and I was doing that throughout the whole pregnancy and after the pregnancy. And I'll tell you one thing too, uh, it is the baby whisperer is what I call it. Uh, cause if there's nothing that can quiet down my baby, uh. the cellar sizer can. So I just had to throw in my two cents up. Um. Moving on. And, and that's so true. You can put a baby over your shoulder and just gently bounce up and down with the baby. The baby loves it. It's really relaxing for you as well. So when you put the baby back down to sleep, you are relaxed so that now you can also go back to sleep. But it's great with the birth of baby too. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, another one. He's got two more. Edward Dong. Um, I'm a basketball player, but I can't jump high enough uh, to dunk. Is there any exercise I can do on the cellar sizer to increase my vertical jump height? Yeah, yes, there is. Um, in fact, I've taught, I've taught this to basketball players. <laughs> in fact, we took a, a, a basketball team here in, in uh, Nantai, Utah, and I, I taught them how, uh, how to utilize the, the solar sizer. They went on to win state, which I can't attribute it all, all to the solar sizer, of course, but it does give you a definite competitive advantage, no question about that. Your balance, strength, timing, dexterity, flexibility, it's... it's, it's <laughs> It, it is a secret weapon among sports. And so, how do we do that? Um, I wonder if I can demonstrate that. If I can turn this a little bit this direction. Let's just turn it over here. There we go. Okay. I think you can see me. Um, yeah. Okay, so I generally don't do it with the bar, but if you, what you do is you, you, you bend down here, you jump up really high, and you come back down in that position. And it's going to really start to strengthen all the muscles and ligaments in the knee. And so it goes just like this. Okay. 
And then it's just like that. Now that's one. Another way of doing that, and this is good for people that have tight knees or have knee problems in general. And that is, you put it next to a couch um, or, or a table in this case, you bend the knee, you jump up, come down, jump up, come down. So it's just like this. And again, it's going to strengthen the knees for that, for that vertical jump. Good question. Thank you for asking it. Okay, next question. Um, do you have any recommendations uh, for using the cellar sizers to train for marathons? Yeah, you want, you want to try that. Thank you. I lost some light here. Yeah, uh, whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> that's okay. With, um, thanks, honey. With marathon running, you want to run as long as you would. You can actually increase intensity when we know how to sell our sizer because you're getting a little more pushback with the springs. So um, you can actually be a little more intense. You want to do it both when you're doing training for marathons, both on, on the ground because there is ballistic impact, but both before and after you've, you've been running on hard surface. It is much advised by me that you get on the solar sizer first because the movement up and down is going to gently increase, it's going to open up capillaries, increase circulation, improve flexibility, improve circulation through the pumping, through all the tissue areas of the body. It's the warm up. So I don't stretch. Cellar size automatically increases my flexibility. Now you can stretch if you want, but cellar size first. Because stretching often takes a cold muscle or ligament or tendon, and it can tear it. It can really do more damage than good. But cellar sizing is massaging. So your cells are being massaged as you increase circulation through all the tissue areas of the body. And we've done demonstrations where we show how flexible a person is before, and then after cellar size, and it's, it's significant, but it's happening throughout the entire body. So, um, yeah, do it before and after, because after it helps to restore the circulation between the bones and joints of the pounding effect. Um, can, well, that can be damaging. Okay. Um, oh, you, you got it working. Yeah, it's working now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Vita Queen Vita, can you discuss the use of ankle weights, hand weights, and weighted vests during the cellar size sessions? You bet. And I've been asked that a number of times. In fact, this last little over a year, I started using little, little hand weights to jog with because it increases more weight on the entire body. But you got to remember, if you have a two-pound weight um, and you're running with a two-pound weight and you're bouncing with it, it isn't two pounds anymore. It's a lot more than that. And so you want to be careful. I, I never did weight, um, use weights on the, on the solar sizer at all. And I still built a really nice physique and, and body simply by leveraging weight or by doing isometric movements, which I still do um, on the solar sizer. But I've tried um, in the last year because I don't want to ever recommend something I haven't done myself. What you need to be careful of is the ligaments and the tendons. Because when you're coming down with that weight, if you notice soreness in ligaments or tendons, um, it's too much. It, ligaments and tendons take longer to catch up to muscles. And so um, go easy, just really go easy on it. A, way, a full body vest, um, I'm not sold on that. I, I'm really not. That's a lot more weight on the body, but I don't think it's needed. All you have to do is jump a little higher. Or, or leverage the weight a little bit more. The problem when you're having weights is if you're if you're in a compromised position and your body is not used to that, and you come down with that much more weight on the body, it's it's easier to pinch a nerve. It's easier to to um, to compromise a weaker area of the body. So I. I'm not sold on it personally, but if you do it, uh, just make sure you realize 
whatever the weight of that vest is or the weight of that, that you're carrying or lifting, it's, it's a lot more than what you think it is. And so, but I'm still a big proponent. You don't need to lift weight away from gravity because you're increasing the weight of gravity. And solo size is not weight lifting. It's weight bearing. Huge difference. Weight lifting is limited to the muscle doing the lifting. But weight bearing is on everything. Muscles, bones, connective tissues, ligaments, tendons, skin, collagen, blood vessels, cells, everything. So it's, uh, I think it's, it's it's more, it's more than effective, and it's it's helped maintain my strength and ability to do things that I don't know anybody else my age is doing. I'm sure there are, but um, not by just doing a 10 minute a day routine. Any other questions? Yeah, uh, okay. Patricia Davies, how much should I jump per day? How soon can I see results? Well, everybody's different. Um, I, I was playing on it the first month that I got it. I didn't realize what I had or, or what was going on, but within one month um, of just playing on it, I wasn't really doing it seriously yet. Um, I still brought the belt notch, and my wife asked me, are you lifting weights? Because my arms look bigger. I said, no, I'm just playing on this before I go to work. <laughs> After the first month, I took it seriously. And then I developed my routine, which is the same routine that I do today. Um, I've added a few things to it, but, but it's basically the same. And that within six months, I had a whole different physique, and I was doing it 10 minutes a day. I mean, everybody was asking me then, you know, what are you doing? What, you know, because my stomach's flat again, and you know, I was standing erect, my shoulders were, you know, everything was just totally different physique, totally. And people began saying, what are you doing? <laughs> I know, I was enthusiastic, so I started teaching them, and that's what led to my career, and, and helping to teach people and creating a, a piece of exercise equipment that represented the research of NASA more than any mini trampoline on the market at the time. Because most exercise mini trampolines or rebounders, you could not do my movements effectively without potentially damaging yourself, which is how my dad was permanently dis disabled in 1995, attempting to do my exercises on a typical rebound. And so that's why we, create, we created the solar sizer and then went on to create a triflex spring design. But, um, yeah, I would say don't worry about the weight as much as the inches. Take measurements. You're going to get more muscle mass and, and protein fibers within the body. And, and they weigh more than, than fat does. But if you have any questions and you don't feel you're getting the results as quickly as you want, you can do more jamba running um, or repetitions of it to increase metabolism. There's three natural ways to lose weight. Diet is one. Um, exercise in burning calories faster than we're taking them in is the second. And increasing metabolism, that's the third. And you do repetitions of the jamba run, and then you gently bounce and then do it again. You are increasing metabolic processes as well as burning off uh, a lot of weight. So, and if you have questions, give me a call. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm here to help you get results. That's my motivation. Um, we've got the best product out there. And, and for those of you who've seen it, you know they last forever. Uh, we've got people who've been using them over 20 years. My personal unit is now almost 14 years old, and no reason to replace it. It's great, works fine. Um, so uh, yeah, just just keep keep doing it, and call me if you have any questions. Okay, Marcy. Uh, Malby says four weeks ago I fell and have three compression fractures. Can I do the baby jump? Yeah, one of the things that doctors know is that bones and muscles heal faster and grow stronger when exposed to some stress. That's the idea behind the walking cast. So again, because it's a medical condition, I'm obligated to say consult with your doctor or have your doctor give me a call so we can come up with a program effective for you. But one of the things that I would share with the doctor is standing on the cellulosizer and just, um, depending on where the, I don't, I don't know where the fracture is, but um, if you can walk on the ground, you can walk on a solo side. The difference is that you don't have the jarring effect, but you get more pumping. And, and it's a lot easier because you don't have the pounding effect. Standing on the solo side or gently lifting the heels up and down. Um, when I broke my ankle on the ice several years ago, um, I slipped on the ice, but I'm pretty fast on my feet. So I tried to catch myself the second time. You can't catch yourself on ice. All you do is increase the momentum. <laughs> and so I, I snapped my ankle in two places. And I was supposed to be in Guam 
on the other side of the planet um, in uh, the following week. And so I went to the doctor and I said, I've got to be in Guam. And he looked at me like, are you nuts? We can't put a cast on you. You're going to be 30,000 feet in the air. And I said, well, then don't put a cast on. What, what else can we do? He put a boot on. And I remember at the program, oh, that was the worst trip of my life. My, my foot was up and down in the bulkhead. Just, it was, it just it swells up. It, it, it hurt a lot. But we got there to Guam. And I was at the University of Guam. And, and I, I was hopping around with crutches and a boot on, demonstrating this cellar sizer. And I opened up the cellar sizer and, and <laughs> hopping around on one foot and um, got on it and was explaining and then had somebody else come and demonstrate some of the movements. But through the course of the, the broken ankle, I would put my foot over the edge of the cellar sizer, hold one of the crutches, and then I would gently bounce up and down with one foot on the mat and one foot over the side. And I could feel the pumping, the circulation. That ankle healed so fast that my doctor became one of my customers. And that happens a lot. So yeah, um, anything we do increase circulation and promote Perfect. Uh, Victor says, seller sizer in Europe, question mark. Yeah, I know. The Torah, we need to get a good distributor. We've been looking for one. I thought I had one, and I need to find somebody um, who can can help us open up that market so I can get back there, which I'd love to do, and, and reignite that movement that I started a, a few years ago, a couple of years ago in Denmark. But it would be, I, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking for the right people to work with, the Torah. So hold on. Um, in the interim, we simply have to ship from, from here. To Europe until we can find somebody who really wants to work with us and and uh, and help us and, and we've got the contract all written out. I mean, we're ready to go. We just have to find the right the right team of people that have the means to to uh, to help um, move the message there in Europe. So hang in there with us and thank you. We're working on it. Uh, Ellie Osborne, my right hip feels really tight and painful. What is a good hip stretching exercise? Thanks. Good, good question. Okay, several approaches. One, standing on the cellar sides or gently moving up and down because all the tissue is gently being massaged throughout the whole body. In fact, true story, I had a lady who had seen me. I was in Pasadena, or I was in uh, oh, Lodi, Lodi, California, with uh, uh, it was called the Modern Nana Healing Crusade. Danny Vieira, a good friend, good, good man. And I was a guest speaker about in front of two, three thousand people. And prior to my going on stage, a lady came up and was watching me. Now, she was in a walker and she was watching me on the cellar sizer and just stood there. And I asked her, Would you like to cellar size? And she said, Oh, I can't do that. Well, she didn't leave. About 10, 15 minutes later, she's still standing there watching how I was working with people. And I said, are you sure you don't want to try this? He said, I'd like to try it. He said, okay, come on up. So I helped him up on the cellar sizer and had the balance by there and, and, and showed her. I said, okay, first, what I want you to do, spread the feet apart a little bit. We're going to rock from the right foot to the left foot because your hips are dropping into the mat. So you're getting flexibility and movement in the hips. And so she starts to do that. She said, oh, no, I can't do that. That hurts. I said, okay, well, then let's go backwards a step. What I want you to do is just stand there, lift the heels up and down. That's the most important movement we can do. As you lift the heels up and down, it pumps the calf muscle, feeds oxygen, blood flow back to the heart, helps reduce the edema, swelling, varicose veins. And as we get that circulation moving again in the lower extremities, we're also massaging through all the joints. So I had her doing that for a few minutes, and then I looked back over at her, and now I see it, this blank face look on her face. She's got her feet spread apart, and now she's walking side to side. And it's not bothering her. Well, she warmed up the tissue. A year goes by, and I was invited to the same program. I'm standing in front of a group of people, and this late now, <laughs> the first year, I had my one cellar sizer out. And the second year, I had my cellar sizer, and then I had two more cellar sizers on both sides of me. So I'm standing there talking to a group of people, and this lady comes up, parts away, says, can I get on your cellar sizer? Both the cellar sizers were empty. 
that she comes up to mine and says, can I get on your solo tether? <laughs> okay, I, I'd step down. I'd better get on my solo tether. She began to do my entire exercise routine. She was kicking out in front, kicking side to side, kicking behind, sitting down on the solo sizer, doing the different movements that I do. She stood up. We all clapped because I knew she understood my program. She says, you don't remember me, do you? And I said, no, I don't. She says, I was a lady with a degenerative hip problem. I couldn't walk. I was in the walker. You've given me a whole new lease on life. I had her stand up and share her program with uh, several thousand people at the program. So, yes, there are specific movements, rocking side to side, doing a gentle twist. And you can twist at the waist, or you can also twist, you know, people with that, that sciatica condition. There's a, there's a movement that I teach, which I'm going to show you again. So, move this over here. Um, where um, you can twist side to side this direction, which is great for the digestion, elimination, loosening up the lower back, um, massages, the liver, kidney, spleen, all that, or pancreas, adrenals, all the internal organs. But another one, which is when I teach for people that have hip problems, and there's several movements, and I shared them in the DVD, but this is one of them, um, is instead of just twisting with the waist, you keep the waist straight ahead and twist right there in the hip socket area. This helps to open up the whole head, just like that. And that's a, it's, off, it's offered phenomenal results for, for quite a few people. Uh, perfect. Uh, Darlene Province asks, had a bladder sling put in a few years back. Should I be concerned that cellar sizing will cause harm or maybe help strengthen? Okay, again, I would ask consult with your doctor. But there are connective tissue surrounding all these internal organs, including the bladder. Now, if it's been torn and, and you have support, then one of the neat things about cellar size is you get exercise without jarring. Jarring is what creates damage. But when you sit down on a cellar sizer and you tilt backwards a little bit and bounce, you don't have a direct movement up and down. You're sitting back. And when you sit back and bounce, all of the muscles that support the, the whole lower abdominal region are all getting stronger, and the connective tissue can, can grow stronger as well. So if, for most people, that's going to strengthen in all those connective tissues to help support that area. Again, consult with your doctor. I'd love to talk with your doctor as well concerning your particular situation. But I can tell you that solar size is going to be far less damaging. And in fact, it's really not damaging. It exposes weaknesses, but it, it will strengthen those weaknesses generally, especially based on how you approach it. Okay, uh, Anita uh, Carbo asks, 10 minutes a day, how does just 10 minutes help? Oh, I'm so glad you asked that. Oh, wow. Okay, it would take me an hour to explain all of this, and I want you to get my DVD because it will really go into detail. But Think in terms of typical exercise. If I took, say, 20, 30, 40% more weight, and I applied it just to this muscle, I lifted the weight away from gravity, and I did it 100 times a minute for 10 solid minutes, nobody would argue. Great exercise of that muscle. But now you've got to do all the other body parts. Most of us don't have time for that. So with solo size, instead of lifting the weight away from gravity, I'm increasing the weight of gravity. It's not just on this muscle. It's on every single cell membrane in your entire body over 100 times a minute. Now, when you apply weight, it's weight-bearing. You apply weight to the muscle over and over, your body's got one of two options. You're either going to get shorter and shorter, you won't, or your body's going to get stronger and stronger to compensate for the weight-bearing activity of cell size. So you've got every, you've got... Everything, every muscle, bone, connective tissue, ligament, tendon, skin, collagen, everything flexing with weight on it over 100 times a minute. That's what makes it so efficient. In 10 minutes a day, most of you can't even start with that. But in addition to that, you're activating, which is unique, the moving up and down, which is opening up circulatory channels. It's helping increase oxygen blood flow to the brain. It's opening up the lymphatics. It's back flushing valves to maintain good circulation. It's waking up without damage. It's stimulating all the thyroid, the adrenals, 
the endocrine system, vestibular balance, brain activity. Ten minutes a day, it's amazing. And for those of you who are avid cellular size enthusiasts who've been doing it, you know what I mean. And feel free to share it with others on our chat. Okay, uh, Michelle Knudsen asks, how vigorous do you need to bounce in order to see weight loss results? Okay, um, there's, there's, on a cellular size, there's more than one way to lose weight. You can turn on your favorite TV show, and you can just jog. Just watch your show while you're I tell people, don't work out, play in. Don't think of it as something you have to go and do that's separate. Try to incorporate it into something you already like to do. <clears throat> whether it's watching music or listening to music or watching a, a television program. But again, you can just jog, and that's great. And it's not the amount of time that is going to give us the results, as much as it is how the cells are challenged within the amount of time. So yes, as we increase intensity, obviously the body is going to, is going to burn fuel faster. Um, we can do it for a longer period of time. People often ask me, is it better to do it for a longer period of time or is it better to do it for a short period of time several times? And again, <clears throat> they, do, they accomplish different things. When you do it very intense for short periods of time, you're going to really be working on your metabolism as well as losing weight. When you do the first set, you're going to be going through the glucose and the sugars, the most readily available energy source in the body. We want to get past that. So we want to do repetitions or do it for a longer period of time. So we get past burning off the most readily available energy source in the body, which are the glucose and the sugars. And now we want to go beyond that to burn off the white adipose tissue, which are our stored calories, or what we call the fat. And that happens when we've depleted the, the energy reserves that are easiest for the body to get access to. When we continue to do, for example, the jump around or jogging real fast or doing sprints, after we've burned through the, the sugars, now the body needs more fuel. It has to find it. It's going to have to work a little harder. It goes after the white adipose tissue. And we want to have oxygen. You know, I teach a technique on the solar sizer that in and of itself will help lose weight. And it's a technique that opens up the bronchial tubes in the lungs. It actually changes your voice quality too. Let's demonstrate that one too. This is, this is a technique I designed and has been phenomenal with people that have asthma. Um, again, you have, to, you have to approach this very carefully. You don't want to do too much for a number of reasons. When, when you first begin, the bronchial tooth may be a little wheezy because they're not, most people or a lot of people aren't really doing a lot of long distance running or swimming and so the, the bronchial, they haven't been exercising the bronchial tooth in the lungs. And this is a literal exercise, it's not a meditation, you do it all from the mat. And what you do is you stand on the mat, you're on the mat the whole time, put your hands in front of you, listen to my voice quality when I'm done because it changes voice quality. So if you're a singer or you're a radio announcer or you need your voice, you, this, is, this will open up the other one third of the lung as well, that most people don't get enough um, oxygen to. It opens up the larynx as well. So it goes like this, and like I said, don't do too much of it. They'll get sensitive. The lungs will be sensitive, um, and they probably will anyway. So you may only do it six seconds the first time. That, that, that can be actually a lot. But if you get too much oxygen in the bloodstream, and you're pumping it into the bloodstream, you get well into the tube because of this stuff. And you, I don't know if you hear the difference in the voice or not, but as I talk now, um, I can feel the difference. I can feel more resonance in, in the actual voice itself. So um, if you're a singer, you're going to be able to sing better. And if you're a radio announcer, you'll, you'll sing better. But that oxygen, that increase of oxygen, will actually increase metabolic processes to help burn calories faster too because cells need oxygen to burn calories and utilize nutrients. Uh, okay, Catherine Fraser asks, when mercury toxicity is the challenge, what benefit might the cellar sizer provide? Will it have an effect 
when chelating. Thank you for this live opportunity. Yeah, it does. In fact, that's one. <laughs> let's talk about that. That's one of the advantages of the solar is the detox effect that it does have. And when you take zeolite or some of these other interesting uh, um, products, then when, when you get on the solar side, think of it this way. I take a jar of water with a bunch of dirt clods in it, and I walk around all day long, day after day, year after year, with gravity always pulling down. It doesn't do anything. It just sits there. We go to sleep at night. We wake up, and we take it with us wherever we go. The moment we get on a cellar side and you start to move up and down, so does all the fluid in the body. You begin to break up heavy metals, toxins, poisons, chemicals, preservatives, additives, things that we've been exposed to over the years that may have deposited into fatty tissue in different areas of the body. The moment you start to move up and down, you start to break that up, drink lots of water when you first start to cellar side, when you're doing it, because you don't want those chemicals depositing into other areas of the body. You want them flushing out. I had a, a gentleman recently who, uh, I said, drink lots of water when you're on a cellar session. And he'd been taking drugs um, earlier in his life, and he's totally reformed and, and a great guy now, but he um, forgot to drink the water. And he started having some of these same experiences that he had before. His bones and joints, he felt sick. He couldn't move well at all. Um, he said, David, I don't think I can do this. And I said, well, are you drinking water? Oh, no, I haven't been drinking as well. I said, then all you're doing is redepositing them in different areas of the body. He started drinking the water. And now he's cellar sizers, and he's in great, just feeling great. I had another lady who got on the cellar sizer, and she was doing it. Uh, <laughs> first day she gets it. She's having so much fun. She's watching a television program. She did it for an hour and 20 minutes. First day. <laughs> wow. Um, she woke up the next morning <clears throat> with a 104 degree temperature. She went to the hospital not knowing what was wrong. They did all these tests on her. Couldn't find a thing wrong with her. Gave her an antibiotic, but she told me, she says, I didn't take it. I just went home and went to bed. She says, I woke up the next day. I don't ever remember the last time I felt that good. She felt really good. And I said, well, you just detoxified a little too quickly. So yes, drink lots of water and, and help flush those toxins and poisons out of the body. Uh, she's also wondering if that breathing activity uh, is recorded on your website. Uh, it's recorded in the DVD that comes with each cell size. Or you can go to the DVD separately as well. It's under the Cellar size, the ultimate exercise DVD. Uh, Brian Jackson wants to know how you're doing. <laughs> hey, Brian. <laughs> oh, we're doing great. We're doing good. Business is uh, it, it's, it's at a point right now where um, everything is kind of transitioning because the culture has transitioned a little bit. We have we're doing the same thing we were doing before. We're redefining exercise. We're taking it from the muscular level to the cellular level. But the market is really growing, so both domestically and internationally. And so we're we're in the process of right right now of working with some people that uh, we're negotiating with that will help us to get the message out and up on a larger, much larger scale. And in the interim, and, and this is the absolute sincere truth. It's people like you and, and people like our, our, our customer base that has kept us in business when other companies have tried to put us out of business. So thank you uh, to all of you who are part of the Cellicize family. We have a vision. We have a dream. We're going to revolutionize exercise with Cellicize. Thank you. Uh, Cindy Dell, what if you have tendinitis? Tendinitis, yeah. That... Uh, Circulation, um, depending on where the tendonitis is, um, circulation is important, movement is important, um, not putting a lot of stress or tension on those, those joints, but lots of movement will help to promote the healing um, of the area. I remember when I, I took a, I had a jackhammer and I was out in our parking lot putting up some barriers, some poles, and I, was, I, I mean, I felt good. I was 
throwing this jackhammer around and feeling like, you know, man, this, this is easy. And I'm, everybody else was exhausted. They all left. I'm still out there and I'm still doing this. And, and I, I thought that was great. Well, for probably six months thereafter, I had um, tendons in my, my elbows that were, oh, they were so painful for, for so long. And I started doing different techniques on the cellar sizer, um, rolling and things like this. Um, I actually used a gyro ball at one point while I was on the cellar sizer. Within a month, once I started doing that, it was gone. I mean, it's fine. But um, yeah, circulation and movement to those areas, but not putting too much stress or, or uh, too much tension on it. Uh, Jenna Kennison asks, do you offer any sort of layaway program or payment plan? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, we do. We have a layaway plan. Um, if uh, We have a PayPal payment plan. We don't control that, but we do have that. Um, it's offered on our website. And then we have a layaway plan for those who need it. And what we do is we just, you pay it off as comfortably as you want. We open up a file for you once there's is paid off, we, we get you the seller sizer, and, and we're rooting for you because, again, my passion, if you can't tell, it's not just in the seller sizer, it's in the program, it's in helping you get results. And I'm working with my customer base, that's where I have my greatest story. Um, Heather Kasser um, writes a message, she says, Hi Dave, I can't make the Q&A tonight, I'm bombed, but I'm eager to hear about the status about the new app and the affiliate program. Oh, okay, the affiliate program we're working on, and that should be done probably within a month, and the uh, virtual trainer, oh, guys, I, I hope it's worth the wait. The tour has been so patient with this. <laughs> we have the, the virtual trainer, I was speaking with him today, we're working right now on the back Ground images and the um, just a, a few glitches in some of the movements. It's ready. It's done. I've been working on it for over three, I think it's four years now. We've got our patent on it. We've got uh, uh, it's going to be a customized exercise program. We've got over ten different routines that you'll be able to follow for the um, senior citizens, for beginning, intermediate, advanced. Um, and you'll be able to take those movements and change them. You, you will be able to customize and create your own exercise program based upon what you want to achieve. That's the virtual trainer. And everybody was after me for years. And they said, David, can you do a 20-minute or 30-minute exercise routine that everybody can follow along with? I never wanted to do that. And the reason I didn't want to do that, because everybody was doing it. I know I could have made a lot of money doing it, but it wasn't about the money. It was about understanding that not everybody weighs the same amount, not everybody's in the same position, and one size doesn't fit all three. So I wanted to create something that would work for everybody. So I called my attorney up one day, he's a friend of mine too, and I said, what do you think of this idea? When I was then sharing it with him, he said, David, I think that's patentable. I said, okay, let's follow a patent on And we got our patent, and we will have that, uh, I, I, <laughs> I have high hopes, and in version one, it still looks pretty darn good to me. Uh, it, uh, it, you'll be able to share it with others. You'll be able to uh, create your own routines and put it in your own library. You'll be able to track the results. Um, you'll be able to, well, there's other features. I'm, gonna read, I'm not gonna expose any more of it. When that comes out, and we hope it comes out this next month, um, we, we want that to really be uh, something that's effective and that, that anybody that has any mini trampoline or rebounder can use it. Um, obviously, I, I, I'm biased for the seller size, <laughs> but uh, you want to be careful with some of the movements on typical rebounders. Yep, it's almost done. It's almost done. Really. Uh, she's also wondering, do you sell t-shirts or can she make her own? No, we're going to sell t-shirts. We did that once before. Um, in fact, I wanted to, what I'd like to have have you do, if you could, is send us the kind of T-shirts, or share with me, or email me um, some of the, the types of T-shirts that you would like to see made. I don't want to make something just just cheap. Um, I want to make something that that you can wear. It feels good. 
uh, but it also has a, it makes a statement. You know, you're part of the solo size family. And, and it, 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 it was good. So, yeah, we're doing that in a few other projects. In fact, one of the things that we're going to be doing on the virtual trainer is as you hit certain milestones, certain goals, you're going to be accumulating points. And as you accumulate these points, these points can be, you'll, you'll automatically get a, another gift. T-shirts that is also in that. And so why are we doing this? Because I want to keep you motivated. I want you to reach your greater health potential because you have one. And, and I've seen it in, in people. And it's not, I mean, you can take it to whatever degree you want. It's not that hard to reach it. I want people to feel healthier and have more energy and feel more enthusiastic. And I was telling, telling my daughter today, I said, hey, we need to go rollerblading. You know, when I grew up, we had roller skates, and we had tennis shoe roller skates at one point, but we didn't have rollerbladers. So I was introduced to rollerbladers, and I was, yeah, I, I was tearing up the, 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 the ring. I mean, I, I couldn't believe the things I was doing because of the balance and the timing and the speed and the coordination that you will automatically get when you solo size. It's above the average person because you challenge yourself in a way the average person really does. So it'll be fun. Good. Any other questions? Uh, I think that's that's good for now. Guys, this has been our first Facebook Live, and you've been part of history. So thank you very much for for being a part, and, and thank you for sharing your, your thoughts, your questions, and some of your uh, your comments. I look forward to we will be doing this again, and we'll be doing it in a little different format where I, I'm actually showing you um, other techniques that you can do personally too. So thank you. Feel free to write. If you have any questions, give us a call. Um, and if you know people that are suffering or that are not, they don't have the, uh, the quality of life they like, whether it's because of weight issues or knee problems or hip problems or back problems or shoulder problems or digestion elimination issues or sleep disorders or headaches or circulation or bladder control, whatever the case may be, Please feel free to share with them our website or, or the DVD or have them give me a call. Um, there, are, there are so many things that we can do. And if you want to work with us as an affiliate, give us a call because we're working with people effectively now over the phone as affiliates. And we'll tell you how we work with you on that basis until we have our affiliate site up and running well. Um, but we'd love to work with you, and there's a way that you can make income with us as we continue to spread the word of, of solo size and the benefits that it can have for everybody. Thank you.